Hello, and welcome back to the Holen Homestead. Today, we're gonna to be talking about um, some of our different plans that we have going on for expansion in our gardens, um, as well as some of the methods uh, that we use to mark where our new beds are going to go. So here on either side of me, you can see all these little white flags. Um, dotted around and what they roughly represent are two new beds and this is the method that I used this year to get an idea of spacing and general layout of new beds um, as far as how far they need to be away from our existing beds and how far they need to be away from each other as well as things like trees uh, on either side. So you can use white flags to get an idea of where you're going to go. Um, and then we're going to come uh, kind of on top of this and mark with string um, and then white um, ground marking spray paint to determine what our final layout is going to be before we either remove the sod, which is what we're going to do, um, and then weed block and mulch. Or you could try and solarize or just uh, weed block with mulch um, and we're using a biodegradable weed block. So on my left we have a bed that is going to be annuals such as carnations um, and poppies and then it's also going to contain our spring and summer bulbs like gladioli, um, dahlias, tulips, daffodils, and ranunculus and then on my right is going to be our perennial cut flower bed um, and it is going to contain things like black eyed susans and uh, purple cone flowers so let me show you what else uh, we're expanding onto besides these two cut flower beds so follow me all right on my right we have the um, L bed, so named due to its shape, um, and we started this last year, and its color scheme is orange, blues, and whites. Um, it's coming along really nicely. Uh, it's still an immature design phase, uh, but it's showing a lot of promise with just the changes we've been able to put in in the last year. So this is going really well, and so we're going to mirror it on my left with the little L or the lowercase L bed. Um, and it's a rectangle, um, so like a little L. Uh, and it's going to have the same color scheme with the orange, blues, and whites, um, but it, we're gonna use a little bit different planting in here. So this is also marked out, and we're going to remove this. Um, and you guys are basically standing in the crossroads um, right by our hoop house um, that I know that intersection is going to get a lot of traffic um, in the coming years. Um, we may consider even putting in um, hard, hardcore walkways um, with brick or gravel or something um, so they don't become super soggy because I can already see where I walk through here. So we've got one more. Come along. So some of these nice tulips that we planted. And then uh, as we reach this Y intersection, um, we follow the left past the L bed uh, to our back patio. Uh, and then on the right, we have our old decrepit potting shed that we are working on fixing um, and our next new bed. So in some of the pictures, you may have remembered that there were arborvitae all along the back of this bed which we've removed and stump ground, so they're no longer there. Uh, and we're gonna put in a large new bed, and that's gonna be called the collegiate bed. Um, and as you can see, it follows the curvature of uh, the bed along the house um, and works its way out towards the front yard. So it's a large encompassing bed, and it's the largest single bed that we've put in so far. Uh, as you can see, it's all marked with flags behind me, um, and it reaches down 
to those spruce trees and then over to the apple behind the uh, potting shed uh, and encompasses the entire pad around the potting shed. And its colors are going to be uh, green, maroon and red, golden yellow, uh, and then white to pay homage to uh, my and my wife's alma maters. Uh, and so along the back of this bed, uh, which is kind of technically the middle, but along the pad and the potting shed, uh, we're going to put in a native shrub hedge, uh, and that's going to include hazelnuts, aronia berries, um, and uh, and some different shrubs that are going to provide a windbreak privacy uh, and beautiful color and some fruits and foods, um, but also not shade out the greenhouse like the Arborvitae would in the winter because we want to maintain as much sun on that as we can to keep the temperature up in those colder months. So this is a very big bed um, and we're going to come back through here with some string to get these curves finalized um, to know exactly how we want this to look. Uh, and then we will mark it and uh, get removing some of this sod. So uh, I'm looking forward to sharing this journey with you um, and showing you how these beds mature through time. Uh, and I hope you tune in for further updates on the single biggest bed expansion we've done since we've moved in. I know that this is going to uh, probably double how many flower bed square footage we have around here. Um, and it's gonna provide a lot of beauty. And I think we're almost starting to move towards like an English garden kind of thing. Um, my wife may cut me off at some point, but um, we hope to see you around next time. Um, have a great day.